what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, no, you do. Hey, you guys, what's up? So, if my coffee makes a loud noise, you guys, I'm sorry, but. I haven't had the right milk in like over two weeks, and my coffee has been tasting really bad, and I finally purchased the correct milk and now it tastes like heaven on earth so i've been drinking this like no tomorrow but in today's video y'all there's a bug ooh, ooh, ooh. i'm gonna be talking about bags i would never buy from louis vuitton some are for i guess preference in the sense of how they look it could be for price and some are just because they're outdated but i'll get into that later i just wanted to say thank you to everyone that's been watching my videos um stopping by i didn't know that there are so many people out there that loved louis vuitton as a brand um not even luxury, let's say as a whole, but Louis Vuitton. And it's so nice to have conversations with you guys and talk about things we like and don't like. Now, also with that being said, this is an opinion based video, you guys. I know some people get really upset with the things that I say, but like I said, they're just my opinions. And I know that a lot of y'all hate the Neverfull, yet I get on a soapbox and preach about the Neverfull like there's no tomorrow. So please understand that I'm not trying to hurt your feelings or bash your bag. If you love it, you should wear it. So yeah, with all that being said, let's go to the first bag. And technically this is not a specific bag, but it's a specific type of bag. And it is Damier Azure bags. Now there are a few reasons why I would not purchase them. I think the main reason would be that I don't like the way that they look when the handles are patinaed, I think is the word. When they get a dark honey color, I personally do not like the way that the Dami Azor looks with the patinaed leather. I think that they look amazing when the leather and the straps are like brand new, fresh, you know, a very light color but when it gets brown for me it looks very dirty i don't know maybe some of you guys disagree because i know a lot of people love when the handles get that dirty i think it looks nice on the monogram but i personally do not like it on the damier azure and for me there's a difference between aged and older like a monogram speedy with beautiful honeyed dark honeyed dark brown handles looks aged in my opinion like a mature fine wine but the dami azure with brown dark handles looks older like a rusty crusty nail <laughs> I always use these horrible descriptions, but that's what it reminds me of. And also the color transfer is something that I don't like about the Dami Azor. If you wear it with very leakable jeans or clothing items in general, a lot of times the color will pick up on the back. A lot of people say this does not happen because they wear it with specific items or specific clothing pieces. And at the end of the day, I do want to be as carefree as I possibly can be with the bag and I feel like the Dami Azor is the print out of the canvases that I can be least carefree with. And also, Louis Vuitton only has around 20 to 30, I think closer to 20 bags in Dami Azor print and they keep getting less and less. I used to go through and just look at the monogram canvas, the Dami Azur and the Dami Abin on the website and just look at them separately. And what used to be like 30 something bags is now down to I think 21 or 22 bags. And so I don't know if they're phasing it out. I feel like that would be very sad from Louis Vuitton if they did phase it out. But I do think that they are minimizing and a lot of the bags that they offer in Dami Azur are not bags that are my cup of tea or things that I would generally want to buy even in monogram even in um, leather even in Dami Abin canvas. The next bag is a particular bag and this can be for any material and it is the Speedy without the B. <laughs> so the Speedy comes in the Speedy Bandolier and the Speedy without the Bandolier, which is just called the Speedy if I'm not mistaken. And I personally do not like the idea of having a pure top handle bag with no ability to make it crossbody or to wear it any other way. I know a lot of people buy it because it is one of the most affordable options at Louis Vuitton, but for me, it wouldn't make any sense. I do think that the Speedy is an awesome piece of Louis Vuitton history and just the look of it will never go out of style. It is a classic bag in my opinion, but just personally for me, I don't think I would get much use out of it because I love crossbody options on bags. Which you guys will say that I have the Neverfull, but the Neverfull is the Neverfull. 
It's never full, it's never full. So the next bag, they're actually bags, they're two bags. They are not the same, but they aren't that different from one another. And it is the artsy and it is the graceful. The reason I think this is the same as the bandolier is that it doesn't have a crossbody option and it's just an awkward shape for me. But I know that a lot of people love these bags and also like the artsy mm i think in um what is it empreinte or whatever leather they have it in it looks beautiful in my opinion when i see this and i'm like drooling over it when i see women have this bag i'm like wow that looks awesome but for me i would get no use out of this bag and after a while it hurt my arm <laughs> Like after I put the artsy on y'all see how big the artsy is the graceful I feel like is a little bit smaller But when you see the big artsy and you got to carry that on your arm with that twisted strap That I feel like is not the most comfortable thing that you could have for a strap shoulder bag um, No, I also personally think that these are relics of fashion I talk about this a lot in my videos and that is when an item is from a particular period of time or generation or trend and I feel like the artsy in I'm trying to think when it was really popular for me because at work we always used to talk about the artsy bag and that was maybe in 2013 maybe 2012 to 2014 ish every girl wanted the artsy bag every girl wanted the graceful bag that was my age and so I feel like maybe society is shifting and as we can see with what's being put out into mini bags into bags with crossbody straps into bags that have multi-function straps we're getting into a different generation of luxury bags or just bags in general and how people prefer to wear handbags there's nothing against it though if you like the artsy if you have the artsy you continue to wear it or you want to purchase it or the graceful I feel like there's nothing wrong with that you have to know your style and what you prefer but for me it just would be a no go so the next item is not necessarily a particular bag it's a particular type of bag and i believe it's the lv my heritage monogram here i think it's my heritage right it's where you can get your initials or personalized bag now i'm always on the fence of wanting this bag you guys believe it or not i would like i think it's a speedy 30 bandolier with my initials on it i've created this bag in so many different combinations and i just think to myself i really 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 love this bag but i never pull the trigger i feel like if i had luggage if i had a luggage piece from louis vuitton i would get it personalized but when it comes to my everyday bag i'm always on the fence of it looks really cool or mm, it doesn't look that cool and also i'd be stuck with particular colors that could maybe only match particular outfits which would maybe prevent me from from getting maximum wear out of the bag. I also think it's virtually impossible to resell the bag unless you are lucky and find someone with your initials, which doesn't happen as easily as people expect it to happen. even though you paid more money for the speedy bandolier to be personalized. I think, I'm pretty sure it costs more money to get the speedy bandolier personalized. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it does. And so then you just wasted a couple hundred bucks to get your initials on a bag, which maybe could have been a bad decision. So the next item is a particular bag, you guys, and it is the Spring Street. For me, the Spring Street is a novelty item. It is something that you keep in your closet and it comes out once a year for a special occasion and you have to be very careful when you carry it and you're dressed up really nicely and you're like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, look at my cute little Spring Street bag. I love the the colors of this bag I think it's an amazing like trendy bag uh, in my opinion I love it and I would buy it but I don't have disposable income and for me I think that the material just scratches way too easily I think it's vernis leather if I'm not mistaken but when I see that type of leather scratch in comparison to the emprunt leather that Louis Vuitton offers I think it looks cheaper not cheaper but it looks 
worse. And also, if a phone does not fit, there's no use for it. Seriously, you could throw it out the window because what do I look like carrying a bag in one hand and then have to keep my phone in the other hand or keep it in my back pocket or keep it in my bra so it doesn't fall out? What's the point of having a bag then? I never understood this, but some people will say it's for fashion. And I'm just like, well, I'm not in that area of fashion. And I want my bag to at least, bare minimum, be able to carry my phone. The next item is going to be a particular type of bag Bag, not necessarily a specific bag and is going to be a bag full of compartments and zippers on the outside. Now, I think that the utility bag that Louis Vuitton just, not just put out, but like it's newer, that is sort of what I'm talking about. But do y'all remember that time, that era of when bags had so many compartments on the outside and zippers, Louis Vuitton as well. They put so many bags that had different folds in them, even like for brands like, what is it, Michael Kors, when the Jet Set Travel Tote came out, and there were so many different compartments and everything. For me, these bags look like diaper bags and it's nothing against them. But when I think of Louis Vuitton, I hate to associate a bag that they have with a bag that Michael Kors has. And granted, the Michael Kors bag may be a copy, a dupe of the Louis Vuitton bag and they created it so people could have an affordable option that was similar to the Louis Vuitton bag, but I don't like that. I don't like when I see a bag and I think A, that's a diaper bag, or B, there's a cheap alternative at Michael Kors for $100 of that same bag. And also, with a bunch of zippers and compartments on the side, front, top, and back, I remember I had like this passed down bag. I don't even remember what the name of this bag was. It was from like a family member and they had it for so many years and they gave it to me because it was so inconvenient and I was wearing it thinking I was like the hot and I remember I had on this very expensive sweater. I was so mad, you guys. And this compartment or zipper of the bag got caught on the sweater and ripped a humongous hole in it. And then I took it to like a seamstress or someone to try and fix the sweater and they said they couldn't. And so after that, I got rid of the back. So I'm like, it can't ruin any more of my clothing. And that's also one of the reasons why I would never buy, what is that called? The multi pochette accessoires because it has so many zippers and things hanging and dangling and making sounds as well. I dislike that so much. And maybe I'm just weird, but I'm, I'm hoping that there's someone else out there that is sort of like me. The next bag, you guys, and this bag I think is discontinued, but for me, it's one of the worst <laughs> things that Louis Vuitton created. Now, if you have this bag and you love this bag, please don't take this as me being hateful or anything like that. It's just, I personally find it to be atrocious. And it is the Cabas. I think, and I think there was the Cabas Meso and the Cabas Piano and maybe even something else added in there, but this was a bag that Louis Vuitton had and for me it just looked like a diaper bag, like that's it. <laughs> And I don't like bags like that. A lot of people will say that the never folds a diaper bag and I'm like, no. But this bag, for me, oh my gosh, it just looks horrible. I still see people with this bag and I'm like, ugh. Oh my gosh. The bottom was plain leather, like vachetta, vachetta. And if you sat it on a surface that was semi-wet, you'd have an ugly um, bottom of the bag if you weren't careful. The straps looked flimsy. Let's say whimsical, because I feel like it's, uh, whimsical is a better word than flimsy. The little thing that connected the straps to the bag were not cute. It had little sides that were also vaqueta that could be in harm's way if you put it on a wet surface or you were caught in rain or something. And I just feel like when I see bags similar to this, because there are a few that Louis Vuitton offers that's still similar to this, I'm just like, why? Who buys this? Who is purchasing this? <laughs> I want to know. But on the resale market, they're still going for, I think, upwards of 1,000-ish, 1,000 plus dollars. So it's still a hot market. It's still a hot bag for some people. And yeah, good for y'all if you have it. I personally just don't like it because of the way it looks. So yeah, that's it, you guys. Um, I think I'm going to be making some more positive up lifting videos from Louis Vuitton because I feel like I've been very negative and like things you shouldn't buy, bags you shouldn't buy, and maybe I'll turn to the positive aspect of this all and things that I recommend or bags that I love. And yeah, hopefully this video didn't offend you too much, didn't make you too upset. And if you agree with any of the points or disagree with any of the points, you can let me know why in the comment section down below. So thank you guys, have a wonderful day and bye.